breaking news overnight. It's happened again for the second time in just hours. A child is hurt in a drive-by shooting in Orange County. This time, the victim is a 12-year-old boy. That shooting happened late last night on Newland Drive. That's off Clarcona, Okoe Road, not far from Apopka Vineland Road. Mark Lehman is there live for us this morning. Mark, you just spoke with people who know the victim, right? Yes, Justin, they tell us that the 12 year old boy is going to be okay this morning after being shot in this home behind me. But also, the people I spoke with didn't seem interested in talking about the shooting that unfolded here late last night. You can see the home behind me and also some of the several bullet holes scattered across the door, the walls, even the garage door of this home. And now the search continues for at least one gunman. Take a look at some video here. This is what things looked like on Newland Drive last night as investigators gathered, gathered evidence and uh, spoke with neighbors. Deputies say that the family here called 911 after at least one, but possibly several people drove down this neighborhood street and opened fire. A 12 year old boy inside the home was shot in the leg. He was taken to Arnold Palmer Hospital with non life threatening injuries. Now, as far as the investigation, detectives aren't saying why this home was uh, specifically targeted, but it appears to be the only home hit by gunfire last night. As we come back out here live, deputies say at this point there is no suspect information to release because no one saw a suspect or vehicle, and that includes the people that live here at this home. This morning, we're going to be talking with detectives and asking them if they've gotten any new tips overnight or if they have any leads in this case as they search for the gunman here that opened fire uh, late last night. Justin and Kirsten. All right, Mark, thank you. And that shooting came just hours after a nine year old girl was injured in another drive by shooting in Orange County. And this morning, we are learning that girl wasn't the only child put in harm's way. Johnny Fernandez is following the newest developments, and Johnny, that girl remains in the hospital right now. Yeah, Kirsten, that's right. Deputies say that the girl had to spend the night at Arnold Palmer Hospital after it were turned out to be a wild shootout at a home she was visiting. Now, we do know that there was another child there, a five year old, in that house as well, but fortunately, he was not hurt. Now, we brought you this as breaking news on the morning news yesterday. Deputies say the suspect or suspects pulled up to the house on 22nd Street and then started shooting multiple guns. Uh, she started firing multiple guns. At least 30 shots. Shots were fired, and one of those bullets flew into the home and hit the girl while she was just sleeping on the couch. Deputies say someone in that home then grabbed their own gun and returned fire. Now, neighbors we talked to say they have had enough of the crime in their community. I've seen the hookers pick up, get picked up in my front yard. I have seen drug deals go down in my front yard across the street from me, and nobody cares. Nobody does anything. Why would you want to do something like that to somebody? You know, why? I mean, you know, there's babies and there's children. And, and deputies say that the girl was staying at that house because her mom was out of town, but we're told she's now back in Central Florida with her daughter at the hospital. And meanwhile, deputies are trying to find the suspects in all this. If you, if you have any information, help deputies get results, call the sheriff's office. Kirsten, Justin, back over to you guys.